Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, panelists. I know it's already been an interesting day. Thanks for being here. Uh, Vice Chair Barr says here you were confirmed July 19th, 2022. So you came in kind of in the middle, according to your own testimony, of when the San Francisco Fed was having examinary issues at SVB. Is that fair? The examiner um, uh, re report with respect to the whole firm as a whole was done in, in July 2022, and, and that's when I arrived. Okay. According to your testimony, you say here at the end of 21, supervisors at the SF Fed found deficiencies with bank liquidity risk, um, resulting in six supervisory, supervisory findings. In May of 22, there were three additional findings associated with ineffective board management, et cetera. In October of 22, supervisors met with the bank's senior management um, to express concerns about the interest rate profile. In February 23rd of 2023, your staff alerted you to these issues, and then we know the rest of the story. Is it your assessment that there are serious supervisory issues at the San Francisco Fed? We're doing the review of that now, and I, I don't want to prejudge the outcome of it. There were clearly supervisory well, Mr. Barr, I'm not going to ask you to prejudge. I'm going to pre prejudge. As, a, as an American citizen, as a member of Congress, don't you think it's unnecessary? It is a rational judgment that if all these supervisory findings were existing for the last two years, and this still resulted that there are supervisory issues, supervisory issues at the, at the San Francisco Fed. Sorry, was that, that yeah, was a question. Yeah. Yeah, do, you so, think it's a, do you think it's a good assumption to make? Um, I, I don't want to assume. I want to go look at the facts. We're going to go look at the facts in this review. I, I think that overall, you know, at the Federal Reserve, without pointing any fingers in any direction, that, that there were significant supervisory failings. I, I said that at the outset of the hearing, that if you have a bank like this that's failing, there are serious management issues, there are supervisory failings, there are regulatory failings, and, and we're committed okay. to looking at all of those. And that's fair. Let me, let me throw this out to you. Mr. Chairman, for the record, I want to put it to the record, Wall Street Journal article dated November 11th, 2022, rising interest rate hikes, bank hit bank bond holdings. In this article, it is actually a comment in here by Thomas Honig, uh, former president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City, former chairman of the former vice chairman of the SDIC, and he says, if they go high enough, you can actually be losing money on those assets. He was generally speaking about banks, but not specific banks. This is highlighting that his concern, somebody who was in a part of your shoes and Mr. Groomberg's shoes, was concerned about rising interest rates on bank portfolios writ large. Do you agree with that statement? Yes, I think interest rate risk, again, is a core risk. We look at it across the system, and banks are supervised for that. It, it is absolutely essential they manage that risk. Mr. Barr, let me ask you a question. Do you think that this committee should be talking to uh, SF, uh, SF uh, Fed President Mary Daly? Do you think uh, that she would have some color on these issues that happened at Silicon Valley Bank? I, I think, you know, the, the committee's decisions about witnesses is far outside my expertise. Let me ask you this question, because actually we've been talking a lot about concerns from a supervisory perspective. You have a speech dated March 9th, 2023, at the Peterson Institute for International Economics here in D.C. March 9th is an interesting day. That's the day that SVB blew up. In your speech, you say, the banks we regulate in contrast, in contrast to stable coins and crypto markets, are well protected from bank runs through a robust array of supervisory requirements. You still stand by that statement? As I said earlier in the hearing, I, I, I think that it demonstrates the need for humility about our ability to understand the causes and consequences of, of financial difficulties. So, uh, of course, that statement um, in this context is uh, turned out to be incorrect. Okay, that's fair. Let me ask you just uh, a couple, one last thing. And uh, Mr. Chairman, for the record, I also have another article I want to submit. Uh, the U.S. needs a new bank supervisory system, written by Peter Whalison, uh, who is at the American Enterprise Institute, and in part it talks about some of the shortcomings of the current supervisory system. In short, I will say this in the final 22 seconds of my testimony. It's been for the last 14 years in Congress, we view Dodd-Frank as the holy grail for safe and sound banking. And if we're gonna be honest with ourselves, what has been the holy grail for quote unquote, safe and sound banking is cheap or free money 
for balance sheets to look good. But when rates rise, not all balance sheets look good. And that's not just banking. That's in a lot of places. So maybe we should take a look at our supervisory system overall. I yield back.